I recently saw a poll that when it comes to creating content, people saw editing as one of the biggest time sinks throughout the whole process. This poll was more geared towards creating content in general, but I'm sure that this also applies to musicians making their own performance playthroughs as well. So today I'm going to show you five or possibly six tips depending on how you count them to streamlining how you edit a performance with multiple camera angles in DaVinci Resolve. Tip number one, always film your performance to a click track. At this point, it's actually advisable to bounce down a version of your track with a click for a later step, but you want your camera to pick up a loud enough signal from your speakers so when you drag the video onto your NLE timeline, you can plainly see the track audio and the clicks. Tip number two, while filming, figure out a way to tell future you what the hell you're looking at. This could be a whiteboard with words like wide view, lead, take one, or just say it into the mic so you can hear in the first few seconds what it is you're dealing with. Rhythm, second lead. Tip number three, and this might be tip two and a half actually because it's related to the last, but always clearly label your files. This goes for your personal projects, but most especially if you're hiring out the edit to someone else. As someone who edits videos on a professional level, the absolute worst thing that you can do for your workflow is not label your files. Soon you're looking at all the nonsense letters and numbers that your camera bakes into the files, wondering where everything has gone. So for the love of God and your own sanity, learn file management. Tip number four, and trust me, we are almost at the editing point. Okay, so you've filmed to a click, you've organized your files, and they're now in your media pool. You might be thinking that this is where you start pulling your files into your timeline and go splicing away. Not just yet. Well, sort of. So this is where we open our folder in the media pool with our performance files, including the final version of your song, as well as the click track you filmed to. You're gonna want to highlight all the files in the folder, Right click and create new multicam sequence. Choose sound as your angle sync and DaVinci will analyze the sound in all the footage and line it up as best it can. Once it's finished, open up the multicam clip you just created in the timeline. Now you can see that almost everything is aligned. We have a few random clips that seem to not fit the pattern at all. And this leads me to my next tip. Tip number five, you don't have to film your playthrough back to front every time. For this project, I filmed the rhythms in one go each time, starting at the intro and going all the way to the end. However, when I got to the leads, there'd be whole sections of time where I'd just be waiting for the parts to come up. And then if I messed up the take, I'd have to go through the whole waiting process again. So while filming, select the section that's giving you trouble, give yourself a few bars lead in time, create a loop that ends just after the section finishes, and then do that as many times as needed till you get a good take. This won't align with the audio when creating the multicam clip, but you'll have the clicks to guide you visually for when you do want to align them. Now, some might be looking at the timeline and thinking, this doesn't look anything different from my timelines. But here's where all of that prep work pays off. From here, grab your multicam clip from the media pool and drag it onto your timeline. I guess this is tip six. It's kind of a continuation of tip four, but let's call it tip six anyway, so. Enable multicam view in your second window. If you're not seeing the second window, click the icon here to show it. Click the drop down menu and click multicam. You should see every single clip that's enabled in your multicam clip. Say that five times fast. Now you can play through the track. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Okay, so one more tip for you guys. So when planning these videos, I decided I was going to batch the edit of this performance and the filming of this video to save myself some time, which means I did a few things different than I normally do in order to give you guys the best examples of what my workflow looked like. Normally, I don't film back to front single takes of my leads. This bloated my multicam sequence up to about 15 or 16 angles, when normally I go through and curate the best takes to end up with around eight. When I hit play with this many angles, I hit some major slowdowns because loading up on angles seriously taxes your GPU. I hit play, I swear. So make sure that while you're working through your edit with multicam enabled, you're minimizing the number of angles that DaVinci is playing back for you to keep playback smooth. Anyway, back to the edit. Now you can play through the track, click the angle that you want on your timeline, and it'll automatically switch to that camera angle, making a cut at the playhead. This has saved me more hours than I can count when it comes to editing my own playthroughs, and now hopefully this will save you some time too. 
Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in more videos with tips like this. And if you're looking to create some better looking footage to edit, feel free to check this video out on how you can get the best quality video every time you film.